But welcome back. So today we are going to jump right into flight attendant training. This video is for all the beautiful souls around the world who I have met in airports, on my layovers, who have been flying as passengers on the aircraft that I've been working and who have asked me, what is it like to be a flight attendant trainer? Or hey, I'm going to training or my cousin's going to training or my child is going to training or whatever, training, training, training. You want to know? And I got the answer. So I have a little two page list and I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So number one, the airline that I trained with, I trained for almost two months. That was the longest two months of my life. I trained um, in Atlanta. I stayed in the hotel and the number one thing I will say is you are there to earn your wings and you will let nothing deter you from that. Nothing and no one. So if there's drama, stay away from it. It doesn't have your name on it. You don't want nothing to do with it. You're going to be on time, on time, on time, and you are going to maintain a 90% average. All right, know about your company brand. That is so important. I am a brand ambassador for the company that I work for. So the company brand is important to me. I am always compliant. Hair is back. Makeup is done, face is beat, okay? When I'm in uniform, be done. <laughs> Nails are done, you know, rings are compliant. I don't have rings on every single finger. I got my working uh, wristwatch and I have one bracelet on. So compliance is just very, very, very important. My pantyhose are correct, my shoes are on point. And while we're talking about shoes, stay away from Sky Pro shoes. Get yourself a lovely pair of Clarks. I have had these Clarks for nearly three months. I went from Sky Pro to Cole Haan shoes to Clarks and now I am very happy with my Clarks. I try my best to shine them after each trip so if they're a little dull just know that when I got off a of standby yesterday I was so happy that I did not shine them so my bad. Know that you're there to earn your wings. Be organized. Whatever they tell you to do, do it. Don't get written up for something stupid or don't get sent home for something stupid. It's just not worth it. Base selection. Yes you will get to choose your base. You may not have a lot of selections but if you get new york city please come because isn't this picture really pretty and don't you want to boost my seniority yeah and then we can fly together so that'll be fun um, and if you don't get the base of your choice you can always commute from your home so you don't necessarily have to live at your base you just need to be there for trips and if there's any sort of weather issues or weather advisories just you know you're going to be on probation for six months if you train with my airline so just play it cool and take care of yourself mm -hmm. clothing bring exercise clothing so that you can work out even if you never worked out a day in your life yeah it might be so stressed in training that you might want to work out so bring exercise clothing bring jeans you will need jeans we had jean days and um we were given like a t-shirt for our training and you don't bring skinny jeans stick with dark denim maybe like old navy boot cut or something like that i didn't buy any of my stuff brand new i went straight to goodwill and salvation army because i knew i wasn't gonna wear that stuff again so i was like hey i'm gonna go get stuff that i can like i think i spent like 75 dollars i kid you not and i had a lot of stuff like my wardrobe was um pretty pretty broad y'all so you need business casual clothes ladies think two inches above the knee two inches below you're not going to the club so let's not do the skin tight and if it is a little fitted just wear a blazer with it um keep it cute or put it on mute bottom line guys think uh suits think uh like a button up with a sweater over it or a shirt with a tie just something nice you know what i mean you can you can go to salvation army or whatever goodwill but don't spend a lot of money on your clothes because you're gonna be training in them like you yeah just don't um bring an outfit to go out okay that is so important i brought like five we went out two different nights we went out dancing and stuff like that and you may want to go out to dinner with friends so definitely bring you a i'm gonna let my hair down outfit bring your good heels because i brought them bring your open toe shoes you're, you you i mean your time will be limited here and there but it'll also depend on what class you have so just don't limit yourself bring yourself a few cute outfits in case you do dinner with the girls or the classmates or whatever have you and if you're single you may meet the love of your life over there and then you're really gonna need a cute outfit because you gotta go on a date girl um and boys too guys too um anyway sanity stay sane please take care of yourself health vitamins all that good stuff drink your water and uh, i did not do any caffeine i'm not a caffeine type of person people started their day with coffee with monster drinks sorry my eyes are bothering me guys um but i started my day with lemon water lemon ice water and that was my thing uber, uber is going to be your best 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 friend because I live in New York, I didn't bring my truck with me, so I had to, you know, Uber places, so I would Uber to Walmart on the weekend, I would get my groceries because it was like a super center, so they had, um, 
like all the groceries and stuff and I don't eat meat so I was able to get my salads and all my vegetables and I would cut stuff up and I have microwavable dishes so I did my whole food thing and it was great uh, I bought a black lunchbox which they'll send you a training list if you train with my airline and they'll send you a list and just follow that list and you'll be good to go so we need a black lunchbox I got one I packed my lunch and it was great if you have a laptop bring it you're gonna need it for your computer based trainings me personally I didn't have a laptop with me because I brought my iPad so I would say after in the evenings to get my CBTs done and I would go in early in the mornings because that's just what worked for me I'm I didn't study with anybody. I didn't study in groups. Like that's just not my thing. Uh, I didn't have, I just didn't have it in me to to do that because I knew what I knew and boom. So yeah, you can do it like that and I like because I got my work done a day ahead of time. When the class was going to do their computer trainings the next day, I would have a couple hours to myself, which I loved, and I was able to go outside and get fresh air, and that's just really important to me. Let's talk hair, let's talk makeup, let's talk jewelry, let's talk compliance for training. Please, if you are not the type of person that normally wears hairspray, just wear it for training. Because they don't let the little frillies and romantic tendrils, as they would call it, that is a no-go. So you will get written up for that sort of thing. And too many write-ups will send you home and you don't want to be sent home. So please just keep it cute or put it on mute. Uh, makeup. Oh, put some concealer on, some foundation. This is what I use. This is my foundation, my Studio Fix by MAC. I always have my brush, my handy dandy brush in training. And it was on my desk and whenever I was getting oily, I take it out and do, 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 do. And boom, you know, just keep keep the, the checks throughout the day to just make sure that you look good. You're representing your own personal brand just as well as the company. Get you a nice red lip, do some nude lips, do some variety. They're not gonna do let you do the crazy eyeshadows and stuff like that, so don't even try it. Just do that when you go outside and you go out dancing and stuff like that or when you have your off day, whatever. Jewelry, make sure you have a compliant working wristwatch. Whatever they say that you can have on that paper, um, do that. Whatever glasses they say you can wear, wear those. Make sure your work, uh, make sure your watch works. I'm sorry. Um, pool day. There will be a pool day, and um, I wore a swim cap. I wish I wore goggles because I wear contacts, and the chlorine got in my eyes, and I was like <laughs> acting all crazy. Um, and if you have asthma, like I do, bring your inhaler because I don't know. I just it just the rush, like I, I can swim and everything, but the rush of when I just jumped out of the aircraft into the pool, I don't know, like my breath was kind of taken away, so I needed my inhaler. So bring your inhaler if you have asthma. Alarm, set your alarms, y'all. Let me tell you something. So my roommate and I on day three, which was our picture day for our IDs, we were supposed to be there at 7.30. We woke up at like seven. I was like, Maria, she's like, what? I was like, girl, it's seven o'clock, get up. So I jumped in the shower really quick. We're both getting ready. Hurry up and Lord Jesus, that's when Uber came in handy because the bus had already left and I called Uber when I knew we were going to be ready in like five minutes, y'all. And Uber came, we walked in that door at like 727 and I saw our instructors looking at their watch trying to see if we were late. But again, we weren't late. So, I mean, there's nothing that we like, we couldn't get in trouble because we had to be there by 730. They didn't say we had to take the bus, but they kind of knew. Um, and that day I wasn't able to like my hair was just straight and it was it was it was all right But I just like literally did mascara and lip gloss and some blush The eyebrows are on point, but it just they could tell because they they knew they had seen us the first two days and we just Let's say the first two days we were a nine. We were really like a six and a half seven. So my ID picture to me it looks like one of those Generated photos of like when somebody is missing they tell you how they they project how they should look like in a few years That's how it looks and people will say things like wow, that's the best idea I've ever seen or wow Like oh my god, you look like a doll and I'm thinking like if y'all only knew the backstory So be on time set your alarm have your roommate set your alarm if you're in the hotel ask for a complimentary wake-up call Do what you got to do um, Eventually your body will get programmed. I hope your city codes now that's gonna help you that's gonna be an easy 100 That's gonna get you in that 90% range when you don't do so good on that aircraft exam that you just, you know, kind of didn't do horrible on, but it wasn't 100. Be a people person because in this line of work, you're going to deal with 100 different personalities and you're going to deal with those personalities in training. You're going to deal with a bunch of people in the aircraft. You're going to deal with emotional support animals. I'm talking emotional support turkeys. I'm talking about dogs that look like ponies. Um, 
just all types of emotional support animals and people and issues and you just gotta go with the flow yeah y'all um and again i should have said this in the beginning but it's it's gonna be safety focused so they're gonna stress that but i kid you not this job is gonna make you so safety focused that you will never not be safety conscious again and training is gonna be what you make it it's fun you're gonna meet some lifelong friends and again that safety still sticks with me every single time i go on my layovers to the point where i open my hotel door park my suitcase in the door check my whole room before i close my door because that's just how safety conscious i am so again i am a proud brand ambassador for my airline and i am so blessed to be chosen amongst 180,000 applicants they hired less than 2,000 of us so it's been wonderful and i just make sure that each time i'm wearing that uniform i represent that brand and i represent this brand as well because yes these wings are for my airline but this name is me and customers look at that name and they're gonna remember that name because i have a kind of unique name you know and um they, they, they're going to remember me. They're going to remember this face. They're going to remember how I looked in my uniform, how professional I was with them. And you want to do everything right in training because that's only going to prepare you for once you get on the line. And then you're going to come to New York and boost my seniority. And I'm going to be your flight leader, hopefully. And I will show you the ropes and show you the way. And I will treat you how I want everyone to treat me and you will be welcome open arms so congratulations to those of you who have received your job offers those of you who are going to training, wherever you're going to training at congratulations you did that you applied you did that face-to-face -face interview you did everything you passed that drug test you passed all those things so don't you let anything stop you from earning your wings man congratulations to you you did it so if i have left out anything or if there's specifics that you want to know please comment below i'm happy to help i'm happy to answer no i cannot give you answers to test um just can't do that but again congratulations stay beautiful stay blessed keep your head up you can do it and i'll be seeing you guys this year because no matter when you're training it's only you know nearly two months and you'll be coming to new york hopefully or i'll see you in an airport and you'll say hey girl that's saw your youtube video and i say hey you know so again congratulations thanks for checking me out thanks for tuning in and um i love you guys stay beautiful and congratulations review on this hair and let me tell you why again I travel a lot I just came back from Puerto Rico two days ago and you know